Prince of Liverpool. Well, when we safely landed, they called myself a fool. I could no longer stand the black began to boil. I don't know I was losing poor old heavens. Baby, I have music around me, so says I'm Michelle Elian. If I told the water by and all the water, I can with Bella when her rage joined to go to the building, watch the baby go by the heart the head and turn it down the rocky road and all go to the building, watch the baby go by the head and turn it down the rocky road all the way to the building, watch the baby go by the head and turn it down all the boss, Maureen, 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 brilliant. And I was watching while you were playing, a lot of the children were dancing along, especially Aoife Dumuso's kids. Ooh, and we're doing a great job, and it was clapping and dancing all over the show. Uh, no. For those who don't know Maureen, uh, Maureen was born in Paris to Irish father and French mother. So she's bilingual and binational, and as you can all see, very talented instrumentalist and singer. And thank you very much again, Maureen. Now, uh, to move on, uh, we have um, Ruth Algar, I think, is present. Ruth, could you unmute yourself, please? Or could somebody unmute Ruth? Are you with us? Ruth, Ruth Algar was supposed to be the Grand Marshal of the St. Patrick's Day Parade this year, or last year, in fact. But sadly, as you all know, the St. Patrick's Day Parade didn't happen. So, uh, Ruth, do we have Ruth? You, well, I think you do. Oh, I can, I can hear you. That, that's Ruth. I, I'm afraid I can't see you, but I can hear you. Uh, just to introduce Ruth. Ruth is a, an athlete and she has what the distinction. Was, was. Was. was an athlete, okay. Has the distinction of representing both Ireland and France. Uh, that's so, good. Back in the uh, good old days. Talk to us, Ruth, for a moment. Uh, well, uh, let's say, first of all, it was a great honour to be um, asked to be Grand Marshal uh, 2019, was it uh, right now? Yeah, uh, it was a great honour. Uh, really, really sad that I didn't get round to doing it, but uh, I will see you all, I hope, uh, next time we can parade in Paris, because I've paraded a few times in the past few years, and uh, it's been lovely, lovely. A lovely honour, and it was so nice to be uh, selected. And I must say thank you to those who were responsible for that. Um, it was really a great honour. Uh, yeah, my athletic career is something of the, the past. It was uh, uh, when I lived in Ireland uh, between the ages of 16 and uh, 24, and then I came to France. So I was uh, representing Ireland in sprints at that time. And then when I came to France, I got on the French team and represented France. And <clears throat> maybe you think um, it wasn't so normal that I um, changed from running from, uh, for Ireland and then for France. But in fact, at the time, it was not really feasible financially. I had to pay my own uh, uh, flights to to and fro from Dublin to, to be on the Irish team and it became impossible. So I ended up running for France because I had the occasion to do so after a couple of years being married here in France. I could have the French nationality and I could um, <coughs> represent France. I have, I have a really important question for you, Ruth, and this is a crucial question. Be careful how you answer. Gosh, who, do you support, who do you support in a rugby match? Sorry? Who do you support in a rugby match when it's Ireland of France? Oh, that's, that's a ridiculous question. Of course I am with God. <laughs> who the hell do you think I would be supporting? We'll keep you. We'll keep you so. Oh no, for God's Good sake. answer. No, that, that would that would be no. That, that's Good the, that's an embarrassing question. That was <laughs> uh, question. I, I, I thought I'd toss you an easy one just to just to make yeah, you feel. Give, give me an easy one. That one. No, no. <laughs> Supporting Ireland all the time. All the time. Thanks very much, Ruth.